They say no two snowflakes are alike. That's amazing to think about when you consider all the millions and trillions and quadrillions of snowflakes that fall to the earth each winter. Imagine each snowflake a different shape and a different size, unique and unrepeatable. Sounds like human beings. Now listen to this poem about snowflakes. Though each flake is very different, there's one point you should know. As the snowflakes reach the earth below, they become one in a great blanket of snow. Which brings me to this. Just like a great blanket of snow made up of all those unique and unrepeatable snowflakes are one huge blanket of human beings, and our covering is planet Earth. Imagine that. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Jurgen. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. My name is Christian Campbell, and I want to tell you something about Dr. Luther King Jr. Civil rights leader Dr. Luther King Jr., born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929, never backed down in his stand against racism. He dedicated his life to achieving equality and justice for all Americans of all colors. King believed that peaceful refusal to obey unjust law was the best way to bring about social change. Good morning, Ichi Creek. You miss me? I have a few announcements for today. Uh, first of all, um, we're still selling chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? And that's through the end of next week, the 22nd. Keep selling chocolate. Uh, you probably didn't have to tell you that you don't have school tomorrow, and then you don't have school on Monday, and teachers, you don't have school on Monday either. How wonderful is that? So you get a four-day weekend, some of you. Next is Miss Collins Black History Month Challenge. If you've seen the bulletin board by her office, then there are five pictures and they look like this. The first one is the first African American US president. The second one is the first black woman who was licensed as a pilot. The third one is an African American astronomer, farmer, mathematician, and surveyor. The fourth one is the leading spokesman of the African Americans in, eight, in the 1800s. And finally, the fifth picture is the first African American Secretary of State. Now, what do you do with all of that? You submit your guesses numbered on a piece of paper and the numbers have to match the picture. Very important. So you should have numbered one through five and then you name who they are and you turn them into the pink box beside the bulletin board or in Miss Collins's box in the mail room and she will grade them and if you get 100% your name goes in a drawing and you'll get a prize. I wonder what you'll get. All right um, next is um, a special day next week the 20th. Mark your calendars. Um, you can wear purple that day in memory of our precious Loriana. It's a fundraiser. If you wear purple, um, it'll be $1 if you're a student and $5 if you're an adult. Last but not least, it's time for our book fair. 
It's a Dynamite Stomp, Chomp, and Read book fair. We've already sent the flyers home on the back. It has information about how to go ahead and start shopping online. You don't even have to wait for the books to get here. And I want to tell you about something kind of interesting. Um, this year we have something called eWallet. And the information was sent home with the flyer on how to set up an account. You don't have to carry money to school students. Your parents can set up an e-wallet account with their credit card and put a spending limit on it. And then you bring a little piece of paper to school like this that's been folded. Looks like a little wallet. And on the inside, there's your personal barcode. And we scan that. And then we take off however much you've spent. This e-wallet is mine, and it has $25 on it and so I can spend $25. If you don't spend all of it, we'll write your balance in here and you have till the end of the book fair to spend your balance and if you don't spend all of it, it just goes right back to your parents credit card. But it's very nice not to have to carry cash or checks and things like that to school. Now I have one more thing um, that I need to show you. Every day I get lots of requests for certain books. Minecraft is one of them, Dogman is another one and we have very limited copies of those and now we have even fewer because I get books back like this um, this is not a book that was taken care of and it is now trash and out of circulation this is a Minecraft book building farms in Minecraft and it is also now trash because somebody spilled juice all over it the pages are stuck together and it can't be circulated so those will go in the trash can and I don't have them anymore so students please take care of the library books also um, students have been doing much better thank you very much for all of you using shelf markers and not knocking the books over on the bookshelves it's been much better lately so thank you for your help with that one have a great day stay on track